All right. Uh, when uh, did you discover this hole? Well, the hole, the hole has always been there. We've been out there for a couple of years now, and, uh, you know, the hole has been there since we've been there. It's been there since the previous owner was there, and the previous owner there was quite elderly, and I, I'd say he was there for a good 30, 40 years before we moved in. Wow. What's the most peculiar discovery you've ever come across? For Mel Waters of Manistash Ridge, Washington, it was an enigmatic hole located on his property. This hole functioned as a trash dump for Mel and former property owners, accumulating everything from household waste to discarded appliances and worn-out tires. Despite continuous dumping, the hole displayed an inexplicable trait of never filling up, sparking Mel's curiosity about its enigmatic nature. Peculiarities began to surface. His dog steered clear of it, his radio intercepted strange signals, and no visible bottom could be discerned. In a recent scientific expedition, researchers deployed a camera into the depths of Mel's hole, revealing an utterly unbelievable sight. Join us as we delve into the mysteries of Mel's hole and uncover what scientists caught on camera when they dropped it into Mel's hole. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing, a bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Located within the rural expanses of Manistash Ridge, Washington, Mel's hole is enveloped in an enigma. The hole gained prominence through the stories of Mel Waters, a local resident lending his name to the phenomenon. Born in the mid-20th century, Mel Waters' life took an unforeseen twist upon his discovery of this inexplicable chasm on his property. It was during the early 1990s when he relocated to this remote and rugged locale, sinking a tranquil and secluded lifestyle. His accidental discovery of Mel's hole occurred while exploring his extensive property. Stumbling upon a peculiar pit, Waters encountered a hole of remarkable depth, seemingly infinite. Intrigued by its unusual properties, he shared his findings, which ignited widespread curiosity and speculation. Waters asserted that the hole was bottomless, capable of swallowing objects without a trace, stirring both fascination and skepticism. His depiction of the anomaly's unfathomable depths heightened the mystery and skepticism among locals and beyond. Since then, Waters' narratives have garnered significant attention and fascination. Reports of peculiar incidents, such as animals avoiding the area and strange signals disrupting electronic devices, added complexity to the allure of Mel's hole. Consequently, the phenomenon became a topic of intrigue and discussion, capturing imaginations far beyond the local region. He didn't suddenly present these extravagant assertions. Initially, Waters received this anomaly as a well, judging by its appearance. His vivid descriptions depict a captivating yet mysterious scene. The hole manifested as a perfectly circular aperture amidst the rugged terrain of Manistash Ridge, boasting an estimated diameter of around 9 feet. Its edges are remarkably smooth, almost unbelievably pristine, standing out against the rough natural landscape. According to Waters, the hole's depth is unfathomable. Subsequent reports have suggested depths ranging from thousands to an infinite number of feet. From the outside, no visible bottom is discernible, giving the impression that the hole extends infinitely into the Earth's depths. The darkness within is so profound that even powerful lights fail to penetrate beyond a certain point. Waters also observed steam rising from the mysterious pit on cold days and noted peculiar temperature differentials that baffled explanation. Some accounts even suggested that the hole exerts a magnetic force, affecting compass needles and metallic objects within its vicinity. Evidently, Mel Waters was not the first to stumble upon the enigmatic pit. Some locals were already aware of its existence. The region's reputation for rugged and secluded terrain attracted individuals seeking solitude or off-grid living, limiting the spread of details beyond the area. Described by Mel Waters, the hole exhibited unconventional physical characteristics, defying its resemblance to a typical well. Waters documented strange phenomena involving electronic devices near the pit, experiencing radio interference and detecting unexplained signals on his personal radio equipment, further deepening the mystery surrounding the location. 
Another intriguing aspect was the unusual behavior of the local wildlife. It was observed that birds avoided flying over the hole, and Mel noticed his dogs displaying an uncharacteristic reluctance to approach it. Furthermore, despite appearing dark and devoid of life from the surface, Waters reported witnessing unexplained lights or beams emanating from the depths of the hole. On one occasion, he described a solid black beam resembling a searchlight rising from the depths and extending into the sky. Convinced of the abnormal nature of the hole, Waters conducted several experiments to unravel its mysterious properties. Among these experiments was an attempt to determine the depth of the hole by dropping various objects into it, including ropes, fishing lines, and weighted items. However, these efforts yielded no conclusive results. Despite utilizing items of considerable length and weight, none reportedly reached the bottom, leading Waters to conclude that the hole's depth was seemingly immeasurable. Moreover, objects dropped into the hole seemingly vanished without any audible impact, defying the expected sounds or resistance indicating reaching a bottom. Waters estimated a depth of over 80,000 feet or 24 kilometers, but suggested that the hole may not have a bottom at all. Additionally, when he brought a compass nearby, the needles began exhibiting erratic behavior, pointing towards the hole as if influenced by an unusual magnetic force. Waters also recounted another highly controversial incident involving a deceased dog allegedly placed into the mysterious pit. Instead of burying his furry companion, the dog's owner opted to position it near the hole. Astonishingly, a few days later, the dog reappeared alive and well, adding to the enigma surrounding the hole. The reportedly revived canine displayed signs of renewed vitality and health, seemingly brought back from the brink of death by the mysterious properties of the hole. So how did this intriguing tale come to light? Well, we owe it all to one man, Art Bell. Bell, a renowned American broadcaster, made his mark with his radio show Coast to Coast AM, which garnered widespread attention for its investigation into paranormal phenomena, conspiracy theories, and unconventional subjects. Coast to Coast AM aired during the late night hours, typically beginning around 10 or 11 p.m. and continuing into the early morning, concluding around 4 a.m. Bell's captivating storytelling and engaging hosting style added depth to the show, fostering an environment where listeners could delve into the enigmatic realms of the unexplained and supernatural. Bell's program explored a diverse array of topics spanning UFOs, ghosts, government secrecy, alternative medicine, and cryptids. Through his show, he offered a platform for guests, experts, and callers to share their experiences, theories, and discussions on these unconventional subjects. Throughout history, radio has served as a medium for entertainment, information dissemination, and community engagement, facilitating discussions, news broadcasts, entertainment, and storytelling. Bell's show, in particular, attracted listeners seeking unconventional and thought-provoking content, fostering a community intrigued by mysteries and unexplained phenomena. One notable guest, Mel Waters, garnered significant attention following his appearance on the show in 1997. Waters' accounts of Mel's hole, characterized by its mysterious properties, captivated Bell's audience. The exposure of Bell's show propelled the story of Mel's hole into the mainstream, sparking widespread curiosity and fascination with the enigmatic pit and its purported supernatural attributes. Later that same year, Mel Waters made an appearance on the show, sparking widespread discussions about Mel's Hole that captured the community's attention. This single appearance significantly elevated the profile of his claims regarding the mysterious pit, generating heightened public interest, debates, and conjectures. The show played a pivotal role in thrusting Mel's Hole into the realms of paranormal legend and mainstream culture firmly establishing it as a captivating yet enigmatic enigma. With its extensive audience reach, the show attracted millions of listeners across the United States. Its late night time slot was ideal for engaging a dedicated and diverse audience fascinated by explorations into the paranormal, conspiracy theories, and unconventional subjects. This show's popularity was remarkable cementing its status as one of the most influential and widely followed late-night radio programs of its era. Naturally, 
Mel's Hole garnered significant attention, contributing to its widespread notoriety. Waters initially reached out to Bellevue Effects, recounting the puzzling discovery of the enigmatic hole on his property. He shared intriguing details regarding its unfathomable depth and the peculiar phenomena described earlier. Following Mel's appearance on the show, numerous local legends surrounding the pit surfaced. While some of these narratives aligned with Waters' accounts, others veered into the realm of the fantastical. For instance, one suggestion posited the hole as a gateway to an alternate realm, or a portal through which spirits traversed. Such myths often magnified the inexplicable nature of the hole, sparking wonder and curiosity among the locals. Some legends intertwine the whole with creation tales, attributing its existence to mythical beings or assigning it to a role in the cosmic order. Speculation swirled regarding alleged disappearances near Mel's Hole, contributing to the site's mysterious reputation, although concrete evidence was lacking. Official records or substantiated reports of such vanishings remain elusive. Additionally, reports of unusual atmospheric phenomena peculiar sightings, and other inexplicable incidents further fueled the area's mystique. Despite efforts to investigate these occurrences, definitive explanations remained elusive, enhancing the enigmatic allure of the site. Amidst the burgeoning local folklore surrounding the hole, sparked by Mel's appearance on Art's show, Mel himself faced personal repercussions. Just four days post-broadcast, Mel was confronted with a startling scene on his property as the road leading to it was unexpectedly blocked by armed military personnel. Armed personnel barred Mel from accessing his land, leaving him surprised and perplexed. Despite his attempts to seek clarification, he received only cryptic responses. The men alleged a plane crashed on the property, a claim Mel found baffling as he hadn't witnessed any such event nor were there any visible signs like smoke or debris. The presence of individuals in hazmat suits deepened Mel's confusion. Despite his efforts to communicate with the authorities and request to speak with someone in charge, he encountered only vague and menacing replies. When Mel demanded an explanation, asserting his ownership of the land, they countered with veiled threats, insinuating the possibility of discovering incriminating evidence like a drug lab on the property. Undeterred, Mel vowed to go public with the situation, but the officer dismissed his warning. Despite Mel's efforts to negotiate with the authorities and gain clarity, the situation remained veiled in secrecy. The involvement of the military added another layer of intrigue and complexity to the already mysterious tale of Mel's Hole. Following this puzzling encounter with armed military personnel, Waters once again took to the airwaves to discuss the unfolding events. During his second call to the show, Art Bell extended an invitation for Waters to make another in-person appearance, further adding to the unfolding drama. During the call, Mel shared that his real estate agent had suggested potential buyers express interest in purchasing his property. While no concrete offer had been made, the agent conveyed confidence in a lucrative deal. Additionally, Mel revealed a conversation with a local elder who disclosed intriguing details about the property's history. The elder mentioned that the hole had once been surrounded by stone columns, suggesting a potentially older age than previously assumed, with significant changes over time. Another caller chimed in, noting the property's proximity to the Yakima Training Center, a government facility, speculating on possible military involvement. Furthermore, the area's reputation for UFO sightings and peculiar phenomena was mentioned. Unbeknownst to many, Mel virtually disappeared following this show. It wasn't until 2002 that he made a surprising comeback on Bell's show. But where had he been all this time? Three years earlier, on the day of his scheduled appearance for the third time on the radio show, Mel found himself entangled in a peculiar sequence of events. While assisting his nephew in moving into an apartment, he boarded a bus back to Olympia. However, transit authorities halted the bus midway due to an onboard disturbance. Subsequently, he disembarked and was directed onto another bus with fellow passengers, only to lose consciousness. Upon regaining consciousness, he discovered himself in a dirt alley in San Francisco, devoid of his personal belongings and inexplicably connected to an IV line. Adding to the mystery, some of his molars were missing. 
Feeling desperate and disoriented, Mel turned to his nephew for assistance in returning to Olympia. Soon after, he received an extraordinary proposition, a perpetual lease on his property in exchange for a substantial sum of $250,000 per month. However, there was a catch. He must remain completely silent about the pit and move elsewhere. Agreeing to the terms, Mel accepted the money and relocated to Australia. Fast forward to 2002, Mel Waters decided to break his silence. By then, Mel's hole had garnered significant attention, with reports emerging about perplexing incidents associated with the pit, including the sighting of a mysterious black beam emanating from its depths. Mel himself added to the intrigue by sharing the unexpected discovery of a dime, which appeared out of place and notably unusual. The dime featured an image of President Roosevelt, which was dated 1943, which was peculiar because dimes with Roosevelt's portrait were not minted that year. Adding to the complexity was the coin's mint mark, typically indicating the production location. Surprisingly, this dime bore the letter B, a perplexing detail since no U.S. currency minting city had ever associated with a name starting with the letter B. Mel promptly sent it to a coin appraiser for evaluation. However, when he followed up a few days later, he learned that the Treasury Department had confiscated the coin. The reason behind the confiscation remains unclear, sparking various speculations and theories about this unusual coin. Certain interpretations suggest a potential connection between the coin and interdimensional phenomena associated with Mel's hole. However, it's essential to approach such assertions with a critical mindset. Given the lack of concrete evidence or authenticated information validating the existence of this purported interdimensional coin. Moreover, reports of time distortions linked to Mel's Hole contribute to the speculative nature surrounding the site. Individuals have recounted experiencing peculiar time-related phenomena near the alleged location. Some individuals claim to have encountered time-related anomalies in proximity to the hole, with stories often involving assertions of time dilation, where time appeared to flow at a different pace than usual, or in instances of purported malfunctions in clocks or timekeeping devices. Some individuals claim to have noticed unusual fluctuations in the passage of time, while others reported instances of missing time where they couldn't recall a period of their experiences. Various theories have emerged to elucidate those purported time-related phenomena associated with Mel's Hole. Speculations have ranged from hypotheses about gravitational anomalies causing time dilation effects to suggestions of interdimensional rifts. In the absence of concrete scientific evidence or thorough investigation, these incidents and theories remain speculative facets tied to the mystique surrounding Mel's Hole. Adding to the intrigue surrounding the location are discussions suggesting parallels between Mel's Hole and a nearby Native American site. However, information regarding any Native American influences and the associated experiences lacks comprehensive documentation or scientific scrutiny, remaining largely anecdotal. Verified details or authenticated records confirming these beliefs are scarce. What can be confirmed is Mel Waters' disappearance following this episode. Considering all of this, one possible approach is to explore the speculative realm. Numerous speculative theories abound regarding Mel's Hole. Some suggest potential government involvement with conjectures surrounding military interests aiming to harness or control perceived anomalies in the area. Despite these claims, concrete evidence remains elusive. Others speculate that the hole could be linked to ancient volcanic activity, proposing it has a potential entrance to an underground network of volcano caves. These theories suggest that such caverns may harbor undiscovered secrets or unusual geological formations. A more speculative and fantastical theory revolves around the concept of a hollow earth, positing the hole as an entry point to a subterranean world beneath the earth's surface. This theory proposes the existence of vast, habitable, subterranean spaces inhabited by unknown civilizations. A fringe theory posits that the hole could serve as a portal or gateway to alternate dimensions or parallel universes, proposing the potential for interdimensional travel or interactions. Additionally, there are theories proposing that the hole accesses a distinct natural energy resource or exhibits unconventional electromagnetic properties. 
Advocates of this idea suggest that these energies could trigger the peculiar phenomena observed in the region. Another speculative hypothesis revolves around extraterrestrial involvement, suggesting potential connections between the hole and alien technology, or its use as a UFO landing site. This theory often intersects with reports of UFO sightings and encounters in the surrounding area. Regardless of their outlandish nature, these theories present a range of diverse and occasionally controversial perspectives on the true nature of the whole. While some theories are rooted in scientific principles, others venture into the realms of pseudoscience and mythology. However, there are also natural explanations for phenomena associated with the whole. For instance, the area surrounding the whole may possess distinctive geological formations or mineral deposits that influence the local environment. These anomalies might encompass magnetic fields, uncommon rock compositions, or subterranean caverns that generate peculiar effects or distortions. Certain geological formations have the potential to generate magnetic fields, which may interfere with electronic devices or alter perceptions. Such interference could result in reported instances of unusual experiences, distorted equipment readings, or altered senses. The area may have also undergone subtle seismic activity, capable of causing visual or perceptual distortions. While not seismic enough to cause earthquakes, these movements could subtly impact the surrounding environment, contributing to reported anomalies. Additionally, unique atmospheric or environmental conditions specific to the area could play a role. They might give rise to optical illusions or sensory distortions. For example, atmospheric anomalies or mirages could create visual illusions that defy explanation. Alternatively, the landscape itself may feature elements that, when viewed from particular angles or under specific lighting conditions, induce illusions or alter perceptions. Unusual rock formations, topographical peculiarities, or reflective surfaces could all contribute to the occurrence of strange phenomena as reported. Human perception and memory can be influenced by various biases and errors, potentially leading to misinterpretations or exaggerations of reported events. Additionally, cultural stories, myths, or beliefs about the area may contribute to people perceiving ordinary events as mysterious or inexplicable. This cultural influence could heighten the perception of unusual occurrences surrounding the whole. These interpretations do not necessarily discredit the experiences people claim to have had, but offer potential scientific avenues for investigating the reported phenomena associated with the whole. Regarding what lies at the bottom of this hole, it would be easier to determine if the exact coordinates of the hole were publicly known. Numerous adventurers and experts have endeavored to uncover the mystery, including Gerald R. Osborne, also known as Red Elk, an intertribal medicine man of Native American and white heritage who has purportedly witnessed the hole firsthand. Osborne claimed to have visited the hole numerous times since 1961, revealing its association with a top secret government base studying alien activity. However, despite multiple visits, Osborne led an expedition of 30 individuals in 2002, decades after his initial exploration, yet failed to relocate it. Geologist Jack Powell from the State Department of Natural Resources provides an alternative perspective, dismissing the hole's existence as geologically implausible. Powell contends that a hole of such depth would succumb to collapse under the immense pressure and heat from surrounding layers. Instead, he posits that the tale might have originated from an ordinary old mine shaft on private property. Nonetheless, disregarding Mel's claims and those of other locals without thorough examination would not be prudent. Many individuals share this sentiment, and naturally, Mel's Hole has secured its position in the annals of unexplained phenomena, cultivating an enduring fascination that continues to engage enthusiasts and inquisitive minds alike. There have been numerous expeditions in search of Mel's Hole. The Seattle Museum of the Mysteries, intrigued by the enigmatic tale of Mel's Hole, spearheaded expeditions aimed at unraveling the mysteries surrounding this peculiar phenomenon. With a blend of scientific curiosity and a quest for the unknown, these expeditions were meticulously planned and executed, drawing together a team of researchers, explorers, and enthusiasts eager to delve into the depths of this intriguing story. 
The planning phase of the expeditions was meticulous, with organizers meticulously coordinating logistics, equipment, and personnel to ensure the success of their endeavor. They gathered a diverse team with a range of expertise, including geologists, paranormal investigators, and experienced wilderness guides, each bringing their unique perspectives and skills to the table. One of the primary objectives of the expedition was to locate the purported site of Mel's Hole, a task that proved to be both challenging and exhilarating. Armed with satellite imagery, maps, and first-hand accounts, the team ventured into the rugged terrain of central Washington state, navigating through dense forests, rugged hillsides, and remote wilderness areas in search of the elusive pit. As they journeyed deeper into the wilderness, the team encountered various obstacles and challenges, from treacherous terrain to unpredictable weather conditions. Yet, fueled by their determination and sense of adventure, they pressed on, driven by the tantalizing prospect of uncovering the truth behind Mel's hole. Upon reaching the suspected location of the pit, the team embarked on a thorough investigation, employing a range of scientific tools and techniques to probe the Earth's surface and assess any anomalies. Geologists conducted geological surveys and soil analysis, searching for evidence of underground caverns or unusual geological formations that could indicate the presence of a hidden void. Meanwhile, Paranormal investigators deployed specialized equipment to detect any unusual electromagnetic or supernatural phenomenon associated with the site. They monitored for fluctuations in energy levels, unusual electromagnetic signatures, or other paranormal activity that might provide clues to the nature of Mel's Hole. As the expedition progressed, the team encountered a series of intriguing discoveries and unexpected findings. They uncovered strange markings and symbols etched into the earth, mysterious artifacts buried beneath the surface, and anomalous readings on their scientific instruments, all of which fueled their fascination and heightened their sense of anticipation. Despite their exhaustive efforts, however, the team ultimately found themselves confronted with more questions than answers. The elusive pit remained elusive, its exact location shrouded in mystery, and its true nature tantalizingly out of reach. Yet, far from being discouraged, the expedition only served to deepen their resolve and stoke their curiosity further. Returning from their expedition, the team brought with them a wealth of data, observations, and experiences that would be analyzed and debated for years to come. Their efforts had not yielded definitive answers, but they had added another chapter to the ongoing saga of Mel's Hole, contributing to the collective understanding of this enduring mystery. In the aftermath of the expedition, the Seattle Museum of the Mysteries continued to support research and exploration efforts related to Mel's Hole, collaborating with other organizations and individuals who shared their passion for uncovering the truth. Their expedition sparked a renewed interest in the phenomenon, inspiring others to join the quest for knowledge and adventure. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more content.